Hey everyone, Luke Shelton here, and I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been in Dillon a lot lately. After all, this town is home to the reigning Class A champion Beavers, a top 15 volleyball program, and the defending Frontier football champs. Oh, and there's also a food truck here that I like. Well, anyways, last Saturday, Montana Western's football team faced off against a third-ranked College of Idaho program in a game that I figured was going to come down to the wire. Well, that wasn't the case. The Bulldogs stormed to a 42-25 upset thanks to a stout defensive effort and the play of redshirt junior quarterback Michael Palandri, who for the second straight week proved capable of piling up yards and touchdowns by land or by air. And after falling to the Yotes twice last season, Saturday's route was a long time coming. I think it was just learning experience from last year. I mean, it took us two games to figure it out, obviously, so we finally did it this game and got the job done, but yeah, we Took a lot of film study together and we're on the same page and we attacked. And that well orchestrated offensive barrage earned Palandri some national recognition as he was named the NAIA's Offensive Player of the Week. He threw for over 400 yards, four passing touchdowns, and rushed for two more. You know, you always like to have those honors at the national level. So, yeah, you got to have a pretty special day to get any recognition um, up in these parts from the NAIA. Ah! And for Palandri, it's all about being one cog in a well-oiled machine. It's special, but I got a lot of it because my old lineman, and they gave me a bunch of time, and all these weapons I have a receiver, too. You just throw the ball up, and I'll come down with it. A native of Maple Valley, Washington, Palandri likely wouldn't be in Dillon if it wasn't for former high school teammate and current senior Bulldog defensive back Braden Swank. Coach Norris was trying to recruit him a little bit before, and he was a little on the fence, like, Mike, just, just come. And uh, he ended up coming, and it was the best decision we've ever made. Kind of just came here out of nowhere, took one visit in May and then came, played in August. And that decision has been paying off for both the Bulldogs and Palandri. Oh yeah, I love this place. This whole team's brought me in and we continue the tradition of bringing new freshmen in, so it's great. I love the community. And the Bulldogs are now on the road for the next month and they'll return home on October 12th to face Montana Tech in a game I'm already looking forward to. In Dillon, Luke Shelton, MTN Sports.